Hey, what's up, you guys? It's UB Fire, and today we're taking a look into the uh, MiHoYo um, official 1.1 like date they're supposedly supposed to come out with. And there was a lot of speculation uh, going around where update 1.1 was supposed to come around the October 12th or the October, like, like the end of October. But it turns out that it is actually false, okay? And it seems like it's actually going to be a lot more longer than we expected. If you take a look at this uh, sentence here, the production team will work hard to ensure that the version is updated every six weeks. So that means every two months, they're trying to make a update. And version 1.1 is expected to be updated on November 11th. So that is not even until next month uh, when it is updated. And that is a very very long time so this is why you guys can chill take your time with the game um you have a lot of time before the next update comes and it seems like they already have 1.2 uh planned to come out uh on the december 23rd and in 1.3 um february next year so every update they're gonna come out with is gonna try to be within a two month period and um on version 1.2 it says Expected update to be on December 23rd, but during this version, the Long G Snow Mountain area and related vision version activities will be open. So you know that area where like it seems like a mountain, but you can't even you know do anything with it because it's on the border. Well, they could be doing something with that. And of course, we might be getting some Christmas events happening on that snowy mountain which is pretty damn cool this article is in chinese but i just use google uh translate to translate it so of course some of it might not be you know on par but i will leave this link down in the description below make sure to go check it out if you guys want more details uh but yeah that's pretty much the plan that they're trying to take is updating game the updating the game every two months or so and a lot of people were talking about how the sea lantern festival which was happening in the closed beta um it didn't happen but they just wanted the global release to be smooth and that's why they didn't have any sea lantern festival so if you guys are wondering about that because a lot of people were saying the sea lantern festival was so good and it was very beautiful and all of that stuff and they're saying like oh why is it not out that that's why they it wasn't out it's because they just wanted a smooth release of genshin but yeah, guys, I guess that's about it that I wanted to cover today because not really much. But at least we have like a set timing and we now know that um, our expected date because, you know, a lot of people were hyped like what? We're already getting an update already from 1.1 and it's kind of, you know, it's kind of reasonable because Pioneer testing, if you guys didn't know, Pioneer testing barely just began and usually whenever Pioneer testing begins it takes around like a month for people to actually test in there and good feedbacks and all of that good stuff so yeah um, that is why I'm pretty sure every single uh, update is going to be within a two month period but other than that thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one have a good morning have a good evening and have a good night peace